Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Now, what I want to do in this video is give you a review of a couple of books that I just recently read. And if you recall, um, in spring, I guess a few months ago, um, at the beginning of this year, I uh, put out a video showing you my fantasy and sci-fi novel collection. And I gave you sort of a review or recommendations of some of the books that I've read here. Uh, so while we're going through all these books, and I showed you almost all of these books, I sort of skipped some of the books here for some reason, Terry Moore, and jumped from here to here, right? But I showed you all these books and I gave you recommendations of some of the books that I've read. And I haven't read most of these books, right? I sort of inherited these or these books found their way to me, right? But I do plan on reading most of these books. And I asked you guys while I was showing those, showing you these guys, these books, um, if you had any recommendations for me from this collection or any other recommendations that you had, may it be science fiction, fantasy, or, you know, a mix of the two, right? And there was a lot of recommendations that came to me from that video. There's a lot of comments there. And I looked up all those recommendations and there are some amazing books there that I hadn't even heard of, right? And some of the writers that I didn't even know. So I, made myself a nice reading list that I plan on, you know, tackling throughout my life. And that reading list is going to take me a long time to go through at some point. Hopefully, um, you know, my to read list, I, the odds are I'll never get to all the books that I want to read, but I'll try to tackle as much as I can. Right. And recommendations and, um, continue to come on that video. So thank you very much for all of you guys who've been recommending uh, books and authors to read. And one of the recommendations that came from that video I decided to read, which was uh, Raymond Feist's Rift War Saga, right? And what I wanted to do is give you my review of the first two books from that series, right? And initially it was um, released as a trilogy, right? It was called uh, uh, Raymond Feist's Magician. And then book two and book three were book two was silver thorn and i've sort of started this i sort of uh when i do when i read a trilogy or a series i usually read one book and take a take a little pause uh you know maybe a week a couple of weeks maybe three weeks up to a month and then i tackle the next book in the series right so i sort of started reading uh book three this is book three um which is uh, silver thorn right and book four um, is the darkness as at Sethon, Sethanon, right? So this is the conclusion of the trilogy, the original trilogy that came out. Um, and I will definitely give you guys a review once I go through these two books. But right now, uh, what I've done is I read uh, Raymond Feist, Magician Apprentice. Okay. And Raymond Flynn's Magician Master. And originally this series was published in 1982 and it was published as one book. And a lot of, I don't, you know, I don't know how much of the content wasn't included because when, when this first came out, this was his, uh, I believe this is Feist's first major work. And when it was first published, when he first gave it to his editors, they took out a whole bunch of stuff and they condensed these two books into one book, right? And I can't even imagine what they took out because whatever they took out, they shouldn't have taken it out. And I think that's one reason in 1992 when Feist uh, became well known, he revisited the series and split these up and included what was taken out by the editors and they blo broke this up into two books, right? And there's sort of a gap between what happens with apprentice and when it leads into the master right the magician master so there's a sort of a few year gap here and this series these two books span like around a 10 year period right there's a few years taking place and there's a lot of characters in play there's a lot of a lot of things happening right and i really don't want to give too many well i don't really want to give any spoilers with this review but all reviews contain some kind of spoiler, right? Um, so if you don't want to hear the spoiler coming up, because I'll, all I'm going to do is going to give you uh, one thing that happens in Apprentice that got me hooked on the book and something that happened in 
master which is related to what happened here which was amazing really it brought like made my eyes watery okay uh, but if you if you don't want to hear the review uh, my review for this is a uh, read it really it's amazing it's fantastic it's it's a must read when it comes to uh, fantasy uh, read and I wasn't sure if uh, this was going to be a must read with all the reviews all the recommendations that came in from the previous video I looked them you know I looked up all the recommendations right and this one uh, Raymond Feisbach uh, this trilogy uh, or this saga is called the Rift War saga uh, had a lot of recommendations for me to read so I focused on this and I decided to read this first and I wasn't sure if it was going to be as epic as all the recommendations were coming in or as as a must read as all the recommendations uh, as, as all the comments were saying but after reading this it's a must read if you're a fantasy lover right and it's got you know I don't know if it's got a certain element of sci-fi there is a certain element of sci-fi in it as well but it's mainly fantasy right and it is definitely a must read okay it's uh, it's very epic the characters are endearing like really you fall in love with the characters um, and there is you know it is the fantasy genre so there are some certain element of things that we would have seen before if you've read fantasy books you know there's elves there's doors there's dragons there's magic but there is a slight difference between this series these these two books anyway i haven't read the other two but i will definitely be reading the other two no matter what um before i read anything else there's a few other other books that i want to read as well right but before i tackle anything else uh the other two books are, is what i'm gonna finish up but there are you know i don't want to say cliches but there are generalizations as far as fantasy goes but the way feist tackles magic in this series is absolutely brilliant it was very unique it was very different than uh other fantasy books that i've read the way they've tackled magic and it really brings it all together with um with master because what happens with magician apprentice we sort of get a feel of what's going on and there's a certain uh, the way the magic plays out there's a certain epicness to it right there's a certain twist to the magic that i hadn't seen in other fantasy book i hadn't read in other fantasy books right and we really don't get a feel of how grand this magic is until we get into master right and once we enter this this story all of a sudden the magic is just all encompassing it it really is everything right so that's my little recommendation review of this book it is a must read as far as i'm concerned if it was a rating of you know if we we're rating it from one to ten i would give give this as a 9.5 right um a 10 for me uh well we won't get into what i've read as a 10 a 10 for me would be well let's get into it a 10 for me would be um the death gate cycle by margaret wise um margaret wise and tracy hickman that i mentioned in the previous video right and it's a seven book series and it is absolutely magnificent this for me right the death gate cycle is a 10 out of 10. this for me is a nine and a half out of 10. and i'm only given nine and a half out of 10 because i haven't read the other two books right i'm pretty sure by the time i read the other two books it's going to be a 10 out of 10. okay as far as um if you've read the series and if you've read the series one thing i like to know is what did they take out from the original publication right they released the first book in 1982 and this is the revised edition where they included what the editors took out uh, in 1992 right so these were released in 1992 the original came out in 1982 i can't even imagine what they took out and if you've read both if you've read the original release and the re-release that split these up please let me know which part of the books which part of the story they didn't include because as far as i'm concerned when i was reading this i wish they 
they were larger. I wish this was split up into three books where they were explaining more things because I, I found the time gaps a little disorienting uh, when I was reading one section to the, to the other section, right? Um, so I know I keep on giving you guys a little bit more uh, from this review because um, I really loved it, really. Thank you very much for recommending this. And if you've read this series, let me tell you the two parts that really have stuck with me that really again made my my eyes water a little bit and just made me fall in love right um the first section was an apprentice and i mentioned this in a previous video i can't remember it was a sort of a update right but if you haven't seen that video the section in this in apprentice that really got me hooked on the book it occurs fairly uh, at the beginning of the book and once i read that section i went and read the description of this and this thing gave me a little bit of spoiler so i was a little upset for reading the description of the book um, at the back of it just you know two paragraphs right for giving a little bit of spoiler uh, because i really don't like spoilers uh, before i enter into something in general right but this thing happens at the beginning of the book and the thing that really got me hooked, the story, little section that really got me hooked on reading this trilogy or reading this, the Rift War saga was when um, Pug and um, a Caroline were going on a horse ride, right? And their interaction, right? That It was a beautiful development. Like the, the interaction between Pug and Caroline uh, was amazing like the way feist build up the characters and the way the dialogue the interaction was between these two characters really made them this for me anyway the central central characters for the story and when they went out to the, on the on the on the ride on the horse ride and uh the the snobbiness of Caroline and the and the humble and the and just the genuine uh, love of Pug and the way he communicated, the way he interacted, the way he took everything that Caroline was throwing his way and not getting angry in the conversation and uh, just being mesmerized by her and being confused by her character and not not appreciating um well so to a certain degree appreciating where she came from but not really understanding why she was so defensive and so uh, so harsh with her words right and then when they sort of pug was sort of um, tasked with making sure she takes care of caroline making sure that nothing happens with caroline sort of being her guardian to a certain degree on this little outing um and then when he leaves her alone and you know she does her little picnic with the food and with the food was absolutely brilliant where um you know they sit down to have a meal and caroline says okay i'm gonna eat and then you go feed, take care of the horses and come back and you can eat afterwards uh that just blew me away where Pug was expecting for them to sit down and share a meal together and Caroline was sort of no I'm gonna eat first and you eat later <laughs> right uh, that was brilliant take on it right a little twist on it and how Pug dealt with, with his emotions and when he went out to water the horses and when I guess the trolls attacked and how he dealt with that situation was just really showed his character of how how honorable he is right and the way the magic played out and that was totally different than the way i've read other fantasy books where magic plays out right so that little section just blew me away really it was very very unique it was very unique and i i got hooked on it and i sort of just zoom through this every opportunity i was getting i was sort of reading this as 
not as fast as I could because I was I'm a slow reader I was savoring every word but every opportunity I had I was sort of sit down somewhere and read right so that's the first little section that happens at the beginning that sold me on the book on the series okay and once that happened uh, with everything happening in these two books like there's a lot that goes on in here right uh, I won't give you any spoilers of what's going on and stuff like this but the name sort of gives it away rift war saga right and I really didn't appreciate what that meant until reading these right but this story what had you know the ride that pug and uh caroline go on carlene go on sorry i keep in my mind when i read the name i say caroline but it's carlene carline i guess uh, from the beginning of this this happens at the beginning there is no doubt in my mind when i was reading this no matter what was happening that pug and carline were gonna meet again okay for some reason i wasn't sure what was going to happen with all the other characters right if they were going to survive if they were going to uh you know disappear and come back in later issues or the later books but for me i i knew that to a certain degree nothing was going to happen to pug and nothing was going to happen to carline right and i was anticipating their meeting again because they sort of again i'm giving a spoiler but they drift apart right <laughs> they drift apart but at some point i had no doubt that they would meet and they end up meeting towards the end of master almost at the end right and it was something that i i was like anticipating i was waiting for i almost wish i could skip to where they would meet again which I wouldn't have done even if I knew where it was I wouldn't have skipped it I would read through the whole thing but it was the anticipation was so powerful for me to see what would happen once they met and how the dialogue and how the interaction would go and how they would feel about each other and when that happens at the end really it brought like it made me all sort of teary-eyed because it was so brilliant like Raymond Feist the way he approached uh, that meeting and the way the conversation took place and the way that the other characters were involved in this and Pug's uh, I'm gonna give a spoiler but Pug's wife and her uh, her love of Pug and the way uh he tr she treated pug and the way pug interacted with carline and the way carline interacted with pug and the way she interacted with pug's wife and the the people surrounding them it was absolutely brilliant and that's just one of the interactions in this in these books right that's just one of the series which is you know one of the stories that takes place here and there's multiple stories that going on here there's there's a lot of characters here sometimes I had a hard time uh, because of the time gaps between the books between uh, what was taking place sometimes I had a hard time remembering um, who who a certain person was and then you know once you read a few paragraphs you're all of a sudden you realize oh yeah this is the person that was you know happened you know a few chapters ago where they were talking about this right so it's a very epic brilliant story arc um highly recommended right and it is it is quite relevant to uh, uh our general society and our our civilization right now because you know the rift war saga is really a war of resources right it's which is sort of to a large degree what the way our world functions right so you know it covers a lot it's, it reflects you know it's a mirror of what happens in our society mine is the magic the elves and the dwarves right and the mag you know uh, the dragons I guess right um, but it's it, it's it's absolutely 
brilliant. And one thing I found out when I was looking at this, looking looking the stuff up, because after I finished this, I sort of went on uh, went online and read some stuff about it. Uh, without, I didn't read anything associated with the other two books because I don't want any spoilers for the other two books. Um, but what I found out was there's a comic book series, twelve issue comic book series based on Raymond Feist's Magician, and it came out in the mid two thousands, I believe. It was a uh, I believe the first few issues were published by uh, an independent company and then Marvel took over and Marvel published the rest of the book. So there's 12 issue comic book set, um, I guess maxi series based on Raymond Feist Magician. And I've looked it up online. Um, it's available, it's available on the cheap and I will try to get my hands on it. I'm not gonna get it right now because if I get it right now, I'll probably end up reading it and I'll give spoilers for the books and I don't want any spoilers for the books but I find you know I've put it in my search that it's gonna give me notices if a whole collection comes up so I'm gonna to try to get my hands on the comic book series as well okay and um, you know that's sort of uh, my take on it I sort of made little notes here but I really don't want to give any more spoilers than I already have uh, if you watch this video to the end uh, but if you've read it uh, one thing I'm very curious about is what they took out from the original release that came out in 92 when these two books were one book and certain sections were taken out because I can't even imagine what would be taken out. Uh, everything in this was crucial, must read, right? And uh, as far as the next book goes, uh, I've sort of read a few pages on it. I read the, uh, our story so far. There's a little part at the beginning says our story so far and you know gives you a recap of what's going on and read a few pages from chapter one and i haven't read the back i don't want to know what's going on right and then what i'm going to end up doing is going back from the beginning uh, and reading from page one again except for what the stories happened so far because i know it i've read the two books right and i read it again to give me a recap of it right so i'm gonna reread this uh from page one from chapter one right and uh, once i finish the next two books i'm pretty sure i'll give you guys a review of those as well uh, because i think uh, uh, i'll have a lot more to say about uh, the riff war saga by raymond feist okay and again thank you very much for everyone that recommended this it's a fantastic read it was exactly what i was looking for to read right so um very very much appreciated and thank you again for all of you that recommended the other books the other authors to read and i will be looking up some of those uh i guess throughout my life because i'm going to keep on going back i made a list but i'm going to keep on going back to that video and looking at the recommendations and see what's being upvoted and maybe start tackling those recommendations by whatever is being upvoted the most right uh, a magician uh, uh, Reform Saga was one of the top ones that got a lot of, um, I guess, likes or comments and uh, seconds and thirds and fourths saying that um, it's a must read. Okay, uh, I guess that's it for now. And uh, if you do plan on reading it, uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy this amazing fantasy saga. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.